doing? Good. Thank you. Have a good day. So we made it into Kennywood and we got in probably like 1040, 1045 maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm already on and off the first ride and it's 1103 now, I think. Yep. Yeah. So I went on the rocket or something like that. It was really Sky fun. Rocket. Sky rocket. It was right at the entrance of the park and I was already on and off of that in like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Not even. Yeah. I think it was like five minutes because I wouldn't ride it. But I yeah. got a video of her riding it and we'll put it in after this. Clip. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the crowd level. There's like no one back here, but half these rides are closed. Yeah. So we're making our way back there. But there's like literally like no one here. Like so far it's better than Cedar Point as far as crowd, crowd levels go. But I don't know if it's going to be more throughout the day. They, I'm pretty sure they only had one reservation time at 1030. So I don't think they're having any staggered groups coming, but I could be wrong. <laughs> of me being all by myself in all these tables and no one has walked by in about five minutes. The crowd levels are really really low here compared to Cedar Point but there is literally like no one here. So I'm just waiting for Faith to get off Phantom's Revenge. Uh, I can't go on anything that goes upside down and I can't go on anything that spins in a circle too fast. It'll make me sick or give me a migraine. So I'll just be waiting probably part of the day and filming Faith rides, some big rides, but that's okay. Um, but I'm currently just waiting. Um, as far as like the COVID stuff goes, they're doing really well. They check temperatures as soon as you walk in and um, the crowd levels are really low. It's really easy to social distance. They have social distancing markers everywhere. So, so far so good. We'll keep you updated if anything terrible happens, but so far so good. together and my fourth ride now I think yeah we've been <laughs> on a lot and it's only 1155 yeah but we rode that and we didn't get as soaked as we thought we would which is fine I mean I'm soaked a little bit on the bottom half and my right side but the left side is dry yeah it's like you hit it and the wall just went up with water and then it went out instead of on you yeah um but yeah that was good yeah. And I think we're going to eat lunch now. Yeah, we're going to eat and then do a little bit more, kind of just go around and see. All together so far, it's been a great day getting a lot done quickly. And the sanitizing procedures have been great. They make you put the hand sanitizer on every time I've been getting on a ride and same when we get on together. So, And the water ride didn't let you or said that you don't have to wear masks so for when the water comes down. Wet. And probably so that you don't choke when the water comes down on you. Yeah. But all in all, it's been a great day so far. Over here is almost like a relax area. You can take your mask off and eat. 
and it is the restaurant Pedro's, which is actually closed today as well. I believe they have one restaurant here opened, at least that we've seen, but most of the others are closed down. But the good thing is you can pack your own lunch here and bring it with you and eat it here in their relaxed stations. So this is the Black Widow ride, which is closed today. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to get on that. It like goes up in the air and spins around, kind of like the Max Air at Cedar Point if you've been there. And I love rides like that, so kind of sad it's closed down, which is also hilarious because I hate spiders, but I'd love this ride. And now the spirits are aware of your kind of ride and we didn't know that really yeah. but I'm okay. It's gonna be one of those like things you have like a little gun and then you shoot at the targets and you get points for it kind of like the Buzz Lightyear's right. ride in Disney. Right. But they took the shooters off because of COVID. And you just go through the ride and Faith hated it. Yeah I closed my eyes at one point. I hate haunted stuff so yeah now I'm making Kelsey go on a ride with me but no, she probably you're not. won't. <laughs> This is Thomas the Train. We're gonna go ride Thomas. We're gonna go ride Thomas the Train. This is in the kids section, but hey, we're all kids at heart. but in this haunted mansion thing that we went in, they were supposed to have guns you touch, but they took them out because of COVID. That doesn't really make much sense, but I guess it's the way it is. Now, we're going on to Thunderbolt, which is a wooden coaster, and we're gonna ride this one together. Making our way to the entrance and about to get on. Some of their games here aren't opened either. Not sure if they're gonna open later. Looks like that one might be. But, and some of the restaurants are open here. This one is. And some were in the center of the park. And Parkside Cafe, maybe open. What's open? A couple games. Oh yeah, a couple games are open like right here. But the other ones down the stretch are not. And a couple restaurants. Oh, but that, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's what I wanna do next. That ride right there that goes upside down. I'm doing that. I sure will have fun. today but it looks really awesome next time I will get to ride it so we're in their arcade now I didn't think that this would be opened at all with all the high volume touching due to the virus but it looks like it's opened and operating and there's people playing games so
also have a Johnny Rockets here, which is right here. And Cedar Point has one of these too. So we're excited to go in and, and eat some stuff. chicken. We're sitting on the sidewalk porch here at the Parkside Cafe and inside it looks like they just have their workers sitting in there eating so that they give them space as well and then guests are welcome to sit out here and eat and I don't think they are open for service but we got our food from Johnny Rockets and then we're able to come over here and sit and enjoy. So some things are still opened as far as restaurants and food. And then there's small little food shops along the way as well. Ah, it's a Grim Reaper. I hate this. <laughs> this is terrible. I've been on three. Oh my God. It's okay. Me. Three rides today that have been dark and scary. For watching our experience at Kennywood. Hope you enjoyed it. Part three is coming August 5th where we compare the two parks and how they handled the COVID-19 pandemic. See, See you guys, guys next time. time. Bye! Bye.